raised uh, your concerns regarding Russia on different occasions. But what makes you confident that President Biden can actually can actually help you with that? I think uh, what is extremely important, very clear message which could be uh, sent by President Biden to President Putin. And this message should be about the decisiveness and unity of the NATO. The Putin should understand that any malign activities uh, any military aggression against the neighbors and against the allies of NATO should be very costly. And the costs will be political, economic, and probably then uh, if we send this message, we can change a bit this aggressive behavior uh, Russia is showing uh, recently. You've described the incident that happened in, uh, in Belarus uh, as some sort of Crimea 2.0, that there is a Russia link in what happened uh, last month in Belarus. What makes you think that uh, this relationship between uh, the Russian authorities and Belarus is uh, another uh, Crimea? Uh, first of all, this is old idea, old plan, probably 20 years old to unify both states and initiator uh, of this process is Russia. The final task is to swallow Belarus as independent state, to create the common state of two Slavic countries and to use Belarus as a platform, as I mentioned, against the neighbors. Uh, what is uh, extremely important that uh, Belarus started to commission commercially, commission Ostrovets nuclear power plant. And having in mind how unpredictable, how cruel uh, is uh, Belarus regime, uh, we are extremely worried about this Ostrovets nuclear power plant consequences on the security of the region. We saw a lot of uh, violations of uh, just safety standards during the, during the construction period. So uh, we see a lot of incidents and in accidents uh, coming up. So this uh, leads us to the conclusion that uh, nuclear power plant is unsafe and we should stop to buy the electricity from Belar Belarus and we can use, we should use all the measures possible in order to stop the flowing to this electricity of this electricity to the continental Europe. And uh, we see also uh, coming ZAPET 21 exercise, uh, which will be organized. The culmination of this uh, exercise will be in September of this year, but we now see the prepare uh, the work to prepare uh, this exercise and probably it is additional factor of uh, security in our region we are fully aware of in the context of what happened in belarus though the european leaders and you were at that summit of course decided to impose economic sanctions against uh, Belarus, but we have yet to see the detail of those economic sanctions. Do you think the EU is being too slow in putting forward those measures? You know, we have different stages of preparing the sanctions. Of course, European Council takes a principal decision uh, about the sanctions. And as you remember, the response was really swift and fast. Uh, 40 hours after the event, uh, we took all necessary decisions and I was very happy about those decisions at that time. Now we are in the second stage of uh, uh, sanctions uh, to prepare the sanctions and of course it has to do with some technical dis details uh, which should be elaborated and uh, the main issue or main idea behind is those measures should be targeted Tar targeted not against the ordinary belarus people uh, or opposition but targeted against the oligarchs or belarus regime itself so uh, sometimes we should find most effective 
measures which could make harm for the regime and which but uh, which could not affect the ordinary people yes this is not so easy job because uh, this is the reason why why probably it takes time and and this process yes i would like to see the result also much faster than it comes <laughs>